some of us that just started making soap might be wondering how do you how can i make profit in my bar soap how can i make a soap that foams fluently like this this soap was just made with palm kernel oil and tallow i know they have told you that you have to make sure that whenever you are making tallow soap adding combining tallow and palm oil to your soap that it should be hot process or semi-hot process i'm going to wow you today we're going to make this soap using palm kernel oil and also beef tallow you can also replace that beef tallow with palm oil 100 percent as you are making this soap i will explain more as they will dive in more into this video so this recipe was from i formulated this recipe in order to give you a soap that foams perfectly but also lasts long so the tallow in it is a, is a is an oil that is filled with lots of stearic acid and also some other uh, fatty acid provides which help your soap to last long the second thing i want to point out in this video is that we are going to make this soap without adding any calcium carbonate with it so this soap contains zero calcium carbonate and it also contains zero soda ash one or two persons have asked me in the whatsapp group please ma can we make soap without soda ash can i make soap without calcium carbonate to tell you the truth these two things are actually cost have its own cost uh, implications a bag of soda ash can actually in nigeria may be up to that eight thousand naira the calcium carbonate was previously around three thousand naira a bag for 50 kg now it's almost nine thousand naira a bag with this recipe you can actually save yourself stress of not buying these two things whenever you are making soap thereby you'll be making more profits so this recipe will be made without any soda ash which is sodium bicarbonate and then we'll also not make this soap with calcium carbonate i want to achieve a very gel textured soap you can see how the texture of the soap looks like it's shiny it's jelly and it is also beautiful very very beautiful the soap is giving what a soap is supposed to give so stay tuned and don't go anywhere i will explain more as we dive into the video And then your teacher or whoever that is teaching you will tell you buy one bag of soda ash, buy caustic soda, buy silicate, buy sulfate, buy borax, buy STPP, buy... In fact, they will just tell you to buy all the chemicals in the market. By the time you are done purchasing all that, you will just be like, ah, ah you have spent a lot. Ayesha will be recovering all that. Don't worry. This is a very free recipe and I made it to make it suit your pocket. You will make massive profit using this recipe and you will buy less chemicals when you are making this recipe. In this recipe, we are going to be making use of 2 liters of palm kernel oil and 2 liters of the beef fat. For the beef fat, you can actually replace it with a total of 2 liters of palm oil. You can use the bleached palm oil, you can also use the normal fire bleached oil. Also, we are making use of the cold process to make the soap. What I added right now was my color. I added a little bit of red color so that it can give me the outlook you saw in the beginning of this video. 
I just want to remind you that if you like this video, that more persons will see it. If you like this video, it will mean to show me a lot and it means that you're actually supporting my channel. If you subscribe to my channel, I will so much love that. If you put on your notification bell, that would be awesome. So this is the scale I'm using. This is the kitchen scale. It's as cheap as 2,800, 3,000 Naira in the market. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be using the normal digital scale. That's, this is what I'll be using. Each of the big max points is 200 grams each. So it is 200 grams, 400 grams, 600 grams, up to 5 kg. Why the tiny lines in between each of the in between each of the 200 grams is 40 grams. So if you want 220 grams, it means your mark has to be after the second, the first mark after the 200 grams mark. If you actually buy it, you can tell the person that you bought it from. So please explain more, and they will they will be able to do it for you. So the first thing I added is just my caustic soda. I'll be making use of complete 800 grams of caustic soda. I'm not hiding anything in this video. The next thing I'm adding right now is sodium sulfate 600 grams. I know you are wondering why are we adding sodium sulfate to this soap? Why can't we make this soap without You will have the same thing is that the amount the same of fluid, outcome which is the water when you I'm make to make this if soap. If you follow my method and the required sincerely. amount of water Please. needed to make four Don't go and say I have an old caustic you need. So, so let in order me to hold the soap to avoid shrinkage and the rest of them all those things you want to make use of what I have on the screen. I will be adding sodium sulfate. This sodium sulfate helps your soap to harden up and cake up as quickly as possible then the next hardener i'm using is sodium silicate of which i measured 150 ml for each of the four liters that means the total is 600 ml so just measure everything accurately the way i said and you won't have any issue remember these are the three basic things we are making use of to make this soap so if you want to make this your recipe you can go ahead for the fragrance i use 100 ml of my fragrance what i have here in this content in this uh, stainless cup is actually sulfonic acid around 150 ml of sulfonic acid i'll be using the sulfonic acid to boost the foaming properties of this soap just 150 ml or even 100 ml is uh, actually enough for you I think a liter of sulfonic acid is around 35, so 100 ml is roughly 350 naira. So you can buy that, add it to your 4 liter oil soap whenever you are making your soap and you have a very good outcome. So after mixing the lye, you just pour everything in. Like I said, this is just a normal cold process. I made this recipe to be as easy and as cheap as possible for somebody that is just beginning to make soap that can't see most of the soapy materials in his or her locality this is very easy mix everything together the way i mixed it together and just pour in everything together into your oils and you start mixing so please this is a cold process the oil has to be a little bit warm why the caustic soda make sure it has cooled down before you make use of it please don't pour in hot light solution into this oil into your oil mix it has to be at least close to room temperature not very cool but at least close to room temperature we need to give it for at least keep it for at least 30 minutes for five minutes so that the temperature can actually reduce before you start making use of it anything from uh, around 40 degrees to 45 degrees is okay now after mixing everything you add in your sulfonic acid remember i've added the fragrance already i added in my sulfonic acid and then you continue mixing now let me say something i know that the tallow the beef fat i'm using is a a solid at room temperature that means before you can make use of it you have to melt it on fire right if you actually leave it to cool down it to solidify again that's why some people used to say that tallow cannot be used for cold process so because of this particular point your oil can't be cold if your oil is cold it will cake like butter so it's better your oil is warm but your caustic soda light solution should be very normal just let it be normal before you make use of it you can even soak it a night before you make your soap so right now you just continue mixing till you have a very beautiful thicker trace kind of medium trace before you pour in your soap butter so if you finish mixing and then when you remove your mixing uh, 
wood or whatever you are using to mix it and you see some oil floating on top of your soap please do not panic do not panic it just means that the heat of your oil is too much and is probably reacting with the caustic saponification is taking place we all know that saponification is an exothermic reaction it releases heat normally so that heat may actually cause your soap to float oils but what this means is your heat is more is much remember i'm not making use of stainless i'm making use of normal plastic so that i won't add up extra heat to this soap so all you have to do is continue mixing the more you mix the more you actually make it make the soap to be should i say more aerated and then the temperature will be cooling down the more the ones on the surface the butter on the surface will be going down to the butter below and before you know it will the temperature will be dropping the more you mix the more the temperature will be dropping if you want you can also just let it sit for a while let's say five minutes then you can come back to it or ten minutes then you can come back to it after you come back to it saponification heat might have reduced and then your temperature must have dropped as you can see now it is actually mixing well the 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 trace of the soap butter has actually improved look at it now it's more thicker so i will really call this a medium trace you need to achieve this trace but let me point out something if your oil is very cold and you pour in also cold light to it you may actually experience instant thick trace especially if you replace your tallow with palm oil palm oil has the ability of giving you instant thick trace so if you experience it it doesn't mean that your recipe is bad it doesn't mean that your oil uh, that your oil is bad it doesn't mean all those things immediately you pour in caustic to cold palm oil it normally cuddles up immediately that does not signify that your oil is bad all you have to do is that next time if you are making that soap try and warm that oil a little bit let the oil be warm before you make use of it but if you follow my procedures accurately you will have a very good soap all you just need to do is to make sure that your soap is of this texture when you are pouring it into your soaping mold you can see how the texture looks like so you, when you are done pour it into your mold arrange the surface so that it can be a little bit smoother you understand a little bit smoother just arrange the surface apply or use your spatula to smoothen it out and then you let it sit if you make this soap let's say probably around morning time by the next day the soap is ready you need to keep this soap for at least 12 to 24 hours before you are mold and then you cut your soap after 24 hours you should be having this kind of texture please have you liked this video yet at this point you are supposed to have given me a like button because this recipe is fantastic this is actually the kind of recipe they will sell to you out there for as much as seven thousand naira to ten thousand naira bet me all the same i still have soaping class for people who are interested in hot process semi-hot process and some other bigger bulk receipt that you can that can actually fetch you more profit if you're interested in it you can contact me with the whatsapp number on the screen after discussion if you make payments we'll continue i'll add it to the bar soap laundry class i will send you the videos well documented online videos you watch and you start making your production thank you for sticking with me thank you for watching to the end of this video thank you all i really appreciate